100 days as a blood mage. Over the next 100 days, I'll be performing dark sacrifices, harvesting the blood and wills of mobs and using those to fuel my magic. As a blood mage, I can fly, command lightning, create living armor that gains different abilities as I wear it, and much more. But before we could do all that, we got to start on day one, which we will do right after today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a completely free to play mobile game with PC quality graphics. There are millions of players and over 650 completely unique champions from different factions that you can collect. You can play it casually or you can compete to be the best of the best. Raid features tons of awesome bosses as well as endless content with new champions and updates every month. Now, say you're hosting a dinner party, right? And you can invite any four Raid champions. Who you bringing? Me personally, I'm taking Herndig. That HP burn debuff he does has got to be good at making food or something, right? Second, I'd invite Jintoro. Look at that sword. Imagine how that cuts into a nice steak. Third, Whirlin Frost King, easy. I bet he'd bring ice cream or popsicles or something. Easy pick. The fourth and final champion I'd invite is Sathalia. She's a healer and you never know what if a guest trips and breaks a leg. Yeah, that out of the way, did y'all know that Raid added live arena PvP? It's one of their most requested features. It lets you fight against other players live with a pick and ban system letting you determine the ultimate warrior. The arena features some really cool rewards too, like new artifact sets, fragments for a legendary void champion, and special live arena crests that unlock new bonuses at the Great Hall. With all of this stuff, if you haven't played Raid yet, then what are you doing? Use the link in the description or scan the QR code to get some insane bonuses. For example, the epic champion to Kellen the Shrike, and some other useful stuff like potions. Once you've downloaded the game, come and find me under the name special underscore, and if you're fast enough, maybe you can join my clan. Click that link and I'll see you in game. Day one, I spawned in a tree and just off the shore, there was a village. I grabbed wood, made a boat and wooden pickaxe, and then I headed for that village. I got plenty of crops for food, looted a blacksmith for apples and obsidian, and stole all the books that I could find. Then this cartographer made the mistake of having a hat that I wanted. I acquired the hat and now I'm stylish. I left the village and I encountered a cute little guy on the beach. What the cool that did so much damage. Yo, oh, what did I just get? Oh, I got a slime drop. Yo, what is that noise? Oh, nah, dude. Loot bag? Oh, yeah, I got a loot bag. I added so much nostalgia to this, this mod pack. What do I get? Yo, a stone axe, a, a bobble, and some bones? I'll take a bobble. Increases my iframes. Nice, nice. Okay. Gold sword, too, for a nice weapon. Not bad. Ow, screw you, bud. Jeez. Random loot bag on the ground for free? Yo, get away from me. I got a hat and shears that... What the... What the... Why are you outside? That scared me. Get out of here. Yo, what is this, like a spawner? Get out. Why am I not going to pick yet? Am I stupid? I'm stupid. Hold on. I need cobblestone. I guess I could just loot the... That wasn't even worth... I'm just going to leave them there. Because you never know. Maybe I want a double zombie mob grinder. Maybe. Um, do they have any materials for bed? Yes. A... Are these unbreakable? What? Yo, I got a sick item. Wait, this is so sick. What the heck is this? Yo, these are really hard to make normally. Wait, what is... I got this from a loot crate. I never even like looked at these. Wait, wait, hold on. Look at that shark over there eating that slime. Oh, that slime's dead. That's so sick. What? Now I needed to find a home base. Blood magic really needs you to get set up as soon as possible. So I started exploring. Hello there. And I found the perfect spot. This black granite temple in this little jungle like biome. I didn't even have to build. The temple was awesome as is. That's not an excuse to not build because I'm bad at it or anything. I just really like the temple. Yeah. I cleared the leaves from the wall, set up some chests, and then right next to my house, I found a gigantic spy of stone and ores. I mined a bunch of iron and coal, and then I went home to smell iron and baked potatoes. And while waiting for those, I spotted this traveling merchant. Yo, wandering trader, my guy. That's really cheap slime balls, but this is like a Tinker's mod pack, so I could just get slime balls. I don't need that. <laughs> slime balls are more than common. And no, wait. Never mind, my guy, you just saved me probably my entire life. No fall damage, ayo. Hey, yo. yo, I'm buying those. Yo, come here. Actually, wait, do I have enough already with that, that guy? Hold on. Yo, slime boots? I'm making those. Those prevent fall damage. That's so sick, dude. They, 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 they like, bounce. Like, that's so sick. I love those. I love these boots so much. And the sling. Wait, wait, how, how do you make the sling? The slime sling. You need string and you need seven slime balls? Okay, yo, yo, my guy, my guy, my guy. You sell seven slime balls, right? Thank you. So you are the goat. You're the goat. 
That's illegal. I can't, I'm not allowed to do this. I am not allowed to do this. That is insane. There's no way this is meant to cost one emerald. There's no way. That's illegal. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. That is cheating. I'll do it maybe later. That ruins the entire early game progression. I'm not doing it. However, all I'm saying is that this guy happens to not despawn. Um, <laughs> if he happens to not despawn, maybe in the future, we'll consider it. Oh my God, my guy, my guy, my guy, my guy, my guy. Yo, do you want a new house? Just imagine if you couldn't travel anymore more right day three and we already have insane mobility let's go and a very overpowered villager i'll let you know right now that he does despawn but those merchants are not exactly rare i can make the slime sling right now dude dude we just unlocked super travel what's good Oh my God, that's so sick. All right, okay, that's like a great, that's amazing. I made full iron armor, except the boots, and a full set of iron tools. Now I wanted to start blood magic, but to do that, I needed a diamond and a demonic will. The demonic will required me to use this snare thing, and I conveniently had the items for it, so I made four. And immediately wasted two of them because I did not know what I was doing. Nice. A little bit later, I killed this blue creeper and got an egg. This egg would hatch my own little baby creeper friend, which I was definitely doing when I was done mining. Mining didn't actually take that long. I wasted my last two snares in a mine shaft, and then just moments later, I found four diamonds. I didn't really need much else, so I built up and went home. Oh, we have a friend. Right, right, right. Yo, 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 friend. Yo, friend? Look at my friend. Look at this guy. This is our friend. Chat, what should we call our friend? I'm thinking Blueberry. This is Blueberry. And he's kind of making that face, ain't he? Right, yo, my guy, can you like sit? Hello, yes, this is my son. Yo, if you are a fan of Blueberry the Blue Creeper, please consider subscribing to the channel. Also, you know, if you're not a fan of Blueberry the Blue Creeper, you're wrong, but still subscribe. Thanks. I made some more snares and I went over to a zombie spawner. I threw the snare at the zombie, white particles popped up, and boom, it dropped demonic will. This was the last piece of the puzzle to begin blood magic. I went home and made the blood altar. I now needed a gold ingot to get a sacrificial dagger, so I went on a quick expedition and got one from a village blacksmith. When I returned home, Blueberry was all grown up. They could now be commanded to sit, so they wouldn't just explode in combat and die or something. Then one of those merchants spawned by my house and sold tons of gold. I might have bought like 20, okay? I know I said I wouldn't earlier, but listen, if I could avoid going mining, I would, okay? Now, it was finally time to begin this blood magic. I made the sacrificial dagger, placed my altar, and by giving the altar a diamond and a bit of my blood, I created my first blood orb. This would let me store blood that I could use later as mana for various abilities. I just didn't really know how to go about getting those abilities. To learn, I wanted to make a guidebook, and to do that, I needed a feather, so I headed out to try and get one. Along the way, I got this insane loot bag that gave me a soul stealer for a diamond sword. This sword would allow me to farm soul shards super quickly later. Soul shards can be used to make custom spawners of any mob that I want, and when you gotta sacrifice things for blood, that can be pretty useful. Feathers proved pretty hard to get, by the way. I had a mod that adds tons of birds everywhere, but for some reason, these birds do not drop feathers. They do drop loot bags that give OP baubles, though, so I'll give them credit for that. Also, did I ever mention that the nighttime in this mod pack was terrifying? Because, uh... No, what is that? No, 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 no. What is that? I don't care about the I don't care about the tarantula. I don't you're, I'm not scared of you, okay? You're 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 a spider. You're that's all you are. What is that? <laughs> nah, I don't even know. I don't know. I'm not messing with it. Nope. <laughs> what is that? 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 Sir, you don't want to be here, but do you sell feathers? I'm not fighting. <laughs> no, but there's that. I never got that feather, so on day eight, I went out again to try and find one. Along the way, I found this nature chest that gave me some beans. The magic bean was quite interesting. I would check that out later. Just moments after that, I finally found some chickens and got my feathers. I could make the blood magic book now, but you can't get a magic bean and not try it immediately, right? I'm sure you'll plant it over here somewhere, you know? What's the worst that can happen? Bean. Was I not supposed to do that? I'm gonna climb it. Oh my, that is terrifying. Yeah, look at me. Oh, it gave me so much loot. Yo, what is that? Golden egg? Where's Blueberry? Where's Blueberry at? Did someone kill Blueberry? No, where's Blueberry? Where's Blueberry at? Whatever. Yo, let's just do this. Look at. That's our golden chicken. That guy? 
Golden eggs. Yeah, so we had a golden chicken now. Pog. Also, it would seem that Blueberry tragically despawned. I think it was some glitch in the mod, but yeah. I quickly made my blood magic book a diamond pickaxe, and then I built a grave for Blueberry. To progress much further in blood magic, I would need to upgrade my altar to tier two. This required nine rune blocks, which were not too bad to craft. However, draining my own blood was both very risky and very annoying. That soul stealer sword that I got earlier must have been a sign. I decided to work on making my own custom custom spawner. To make it, I needed four obsidian blocks, four nether quartz blocks, and a glowstone block, which meant it was time to go to the nether on day nine. I already had all the obsidian from looting villages, so I built my portal, and here we go. What is that? Oh, that, was, that was a petal. This is really ugly, but I'm only here for a couple blocks, so it's fine. Oh, shoot. Oh, nah. That's the worst guy. Who added that mod? Yo, Mr. Sheepman, what you want? Okay, I'm here for this. I don't trust that cow. All right, I need to find glowstone here. That chicken's probably evil, right? That's the worst guy. I hate that guy. Blaze powder, but I hate that guy. Yo, are you gonna go sicko mode on me? Like, what, what's up with you? Yes. Oh, my. Yo, get lost. Yo, a loot bag. A recall potion and a gem that... I, I don't, it makes stuff that isn't a different language. I'll grab it though. All right, I need glowstone. That is my objective here. I was kind of hoping there'd be some over here though. I guess I can just go over there. It's probably, is it stupid to use this in the nether? The answer is probably yes. And he, I hate this guy. He's so irritating. Oh my God, that's the worst guy. Not you again. Christ. I'm just gonna regen real quick. Okay. What is that down there? What is that? Dude, screw off. Oh yeah, I spawn everywhere and I ruin your day and you, I'm not fun. I'm not fun. I will uninstall you and hey, get back. Get back. They don't want to get uninstalled. They know. Okay, we got most of our stuff. The nether might have seemed a bit chaotic there, but trust me, it gets worse. I temporarily destroyed my portal to get the obsidian that I needed for the soul shard. I then placed my glowstone, surrounded it in quartz, placed obsidian in the corners, and one diamond later, we had our unbound soul shard. I couldn't actually use the soul shard without a soul cage to put it in. That cage requires four corrupted ingots, each of which takes four corrupted essence and four vile dust. Corrupted essence requires two obsidian, one one piece of lapis and one of redstone dust. 32 obsidian would be a pain, but it's doable. Vile essence was just made by smelting soul sand. Seemed easy. Yeah. For the time being, I just wanted to fill the soul shard. The way that it works is that the first mob that you kill will bind to the soul shard. Then every time you kill another mob of the same type, you'll fill the shard with souls. As it gains more souls, the tier goes up, which makes the spawner spawn more mobs or spawn them faster. So higher tiers were better, obviously. Usually, you only gain one soul per kill, but with Soul Stealer 4, I get five. Because of this, I decided to go for a very interesting choice, villagers. I began slaughtering them all, harvesting their souls. I also got an obsidian skull while doing this, which will prove vital very soon. I went from village to village, harvesting their souls until my shard was up to tier two. The last thing that I needed was the soul cage. I headed off to get the 32 obsidian that I needed. Along the way, I traded this weird villager for an entire gold block. Shady merchant? Yo! Thanks! Oh, you ain't slick. Come back here. You're not slick. Where'd he go? He's slick. And then a bit of obsidian mining later, I realized. Wait, this isn't even real gold? I didn't know I got scammed. I didn't realize. Aw, oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, I got scammed in Minecraft of all things. Crazy. Regardless, I got the rest of my obsidian, made my corrupted essence, and now it was soul sand time. All right, now where's my soul? This guy, dude. I told you I'd uninstall you last time, didn't I? Yo, diamond pants. Oh, what is you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Are you your uh, troll, dude? Get time. lost. What the heck? Yo, I don't like it here. What, what the? Well, okay, that was just scary. Okay, I don't like it here. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? Oh! Um, I'm dead. No, I can, I can get down. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I have a heart. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. Okay. okay. Thank God I got this obsidian skull, dude. That was the most stressful scenario I've ever been in in 100 days of my life. No, screw that guy. Why is he here? And what is that? Oh! I did not survive that to die to a stupid blaze juggernaut, dude. 
Oh my god! See, Sword Art Online is really weird to me because it's very popular, but I've heard that it's trash. Ah! Do it again. Y'all suck so much. You suck. You're so stupid, dude. I'm dead. Oh, 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 oh. oh, I just spammed my dagger on accident. Soul Sand! Oh, thank God. That might go in the history books as the most difficult Soul Sand trip ever. While waiting for the Soul Sand to smell into the vile dust, I used this book that I had to make a Sharpness 3 Diamond Sword. But Nether proved that my damage was way too low, so this was a much needed upgrade. Once the vile dust was done, I made my four ingots and crafted the Soul Cage. I put it above my altar, bound it to villagers, and now they just spawned infinitely. However, I don't actually need those right now. The dagger that I need to sacrifice other mobs Mobs actually needed a tier 2 altar to make in the first place. So I pricked my finger for a while, made 18 blank slates, and then using those I made 9 blank runes. I put them under the altar, and now we had tier 2. This unlocks new items that I can make, the first of which is the Dagger of Sacrifice. I could now convert mobs directly into blood for the altar. However, using my own blood to make those runes actually burned through the rest of my food I had except for some carrots. I had the big brain idea of using a butcher villager for from the spawner. I slime slinged off, farmed some pigs for raw pork chop, and then I went back to trade a butcher. So now we're gonna try trading that butcher. Take this. Wait, where did I get all these loot boxes? Am I, wait, whoa, 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 am I stupid? I don't remember getting any of these. Where did I have so many? A wither skeleton drop? Oh, okay, I don't really want that. A recall potion? Yeah, okay, I'll take that. A backpack, yes! Okay, I got it! I got a backpack and whatever that thing is. I don't know what that is. Yo, we got a backpack. Let's get it. All right. And this guy now trades me food. Okay. Emerald for five pork chop. Yeah, free, dude. Free food. Free food. Okay, you're coming with me, guy. I did get this item earlier. I'm curious if it does what I think it does. Mr. Butcher, I want to see if I can, I can take you with me. Yo, can I just like... Yeah, okay. Have night vision now? True! I can wear the backpack for permanent night vision. Now we had a food generator and a backpack. That backpack also gives me permanent night vision when I wear it, which took a bit to figure out how to do, but I got it working. Okay, now I had a base, reliable food, a spawner to farm blood from. It was time to finally dive into blood magic. I built a little stone wall around the altar, activated the villager spawner, and then I sacrificed them for blood. The first item that I wanted to make was the divination sigil. This item would let me see the exact amount of blood stored in my blood orb and in the blood altar. And given that if I run out of blood and try to use any kind of magic, it would kill me, that's pretty good information to have. To make that sigil, I would first need a forge to make arcane ashes in. I went and mined iron, made the forge, and turns out this thing needs demonic will to run. Demonic will was the stuff that I got from those snares earlier, and now I needed more. I mined a bit of redstone, made more snares, and using them, I got some demonic will from this conveniently placed zombie pig man. Then, using the forge, I was able to make arcane ashes. I placed an ash circle on the floor, put in my redstone in a blank slate, and a cool little spinny magic animation later, I got my divination sigil. This let me see the amount of blood that I currently had, which is cool, except it's not very cool. I wanted to make an actual cool sigil. I didn't actually know what any of them did, but sigil of the storm sounded pretty sick, so I decided to work towards that. It needed sand, a fishing rod, a bucket of water, and most importantly, a gas tier. I had a zero desire to farm gas in the nether, so I went for a different approach. There were these catalyzing gland items that could be converted into gas tiers, and I could get those from loot bags. So I slaughtered many villagers until I had enough, made a gas tier, put all the materials in the forge, and it didn't work. Turns out this recipe needed 64 will, and right now I had about 1.5. To have that much will at one time, I would need tartaric gems to store it in. I made a petty tartaric gem, used some snares to fill it a little bit, and then I made a second one. I combined that second one with an iron sword and forged a sentient sword. This was a huge step. The sentient sword is a bit interesting because it starts off really weak, but the more demonic will you have stored in your inventory, the more damage the sword does. Not only that, but the sword actually harvests will without the use of those annoying snares. Though at this point, I was still unaware that I could only get demonic will from hostile mobs, so I killed villagers for basically no reason. I was farming mobs to fill the gem that night when, uh... What the... Oh, yikes. 
Yeah, and that's why the Broken Heart Bobble is amazing. Imagine I just died to a random creeper. No shot. Anyways, farming at night clearly did not work out. I didn't get nearly enough will for the storm sigil, so I went to grind one of the zombie spawner structures. It wasn't exactly fast, so after a while, I went and fought some pirates. I sailed around going from pirate ship to pirate ship, fighting them off, and that was also slow. But then, in an unexpected turn of events, I found this dark biome that seemed to only spawn boars during the day. Boars were hostile, meaning they counted. I farmed every boar I could find and also got a free enchant setup from a structure there. That was neat. I ended up running out of boars and I was only at 44 will. I needed 64 for the storm sigil, so I decided, screw it, I'll just farm in one of the scary dungeons. Yeah, I'll farm some. Yo, come here. The combo. Diamond sword. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. A magic guy. Wow, he... Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, hello. Oh my god! Lag. You're undead. You can't be healed. Got him. All right, healer down. The rest is easy from here. That healing is stupid! Die! My petty gem was now full. I had 64 demonic will. I went home, forged my storm reagent, and using the arcane ashes, I created my storm sigil. I now had the power to strike lightning whenever and wherever I wanted. It wasn't the most useful power ever, but who doesn't want to control lightning? The grind to get all that demonic will was not fun, to say the least. Since that stuff only comes from hostile mobs, it made sense to get a new soul shard. I made one, and while trying to decide what to put in it, I came across a wither skeleton spawner. That seemed pretty good, so I grabbed it and ran all the way back home. When it became nighttime, I killed a few skeletons to bind the soul shard, and then I was reminded why nighttime is awful. Drop of evil poggers. No, not this guy, dude. I hate this guy. Oh, dude, the nighttime sucks so bad in this pack. Oh, the skeleton warrior? Screw off, dude. You know, on second thought, maybe I'll just go find a cave and do the skeletons in there. What is that? No! What's happening? What's happening? What is that thing? What is that thing? What is that thing? What is that? What is that? Yeah, needless to say, I was not farming that spawner at night. Actually, I went to pick it up to farm it in a cave and it absorbed into the shard. Now we had a whole tier two wither skeleton shard with like no grinding required. Next, I decided to make use of that storm sigil. I had this iron golem backpack that I got from some random loot bag or something. I don't remember. Either way, I turned it into the default backpack then turned that into a pig backpack. Boom, I struck myself with lightning and now I had a zombie pig backpack. While wearing this, I get permanent fire resistance. So if I ever get knocked into lava again, it wouldn't be quite it is terrifying. My next thing I wanted to make with blood magic was the air sigil. I assumed it would let me fly and flying is amazing, but it needed a gas tier. So I took my new fire resistant backpack to the nether. The fire immunity was very nice. I could just slime sling throughout the entire nether with no fear at all, which is good because I was stuck there for like half an hour farming ghasts. I didn't even get a gas tier drop. I got three catalyzing glands first and had to craft one. I did hit level 30 though, so I figured it'd be a good time to try enchanting. I set up the table, reset enchants a few times, and then I saw fortune three. I farmed a bit more XP and now I had a fortune three pickaxe. I've managed to get my full diamond armor through loot bags over time, but I would need a lot more diamonds later, so it was good to get this out of the way now. The next step for the air sigil crafting was 128 demonic will. My petty gem only stored 64 max, so I needed a higher tier gem for this. I went through the whole process, crafting a petty gem, then farming more will from wither skeletons, and then I forged my lesser tartaric gem. Now, I could have farmed the wither skeleton spawner, but I was actually almost entirely out of resources, so I decided to take my new fancy fortune pick on a mining trip. Any mobs that I killed on the trip would fill the gem, so it was like two birds with one stone. Yeah. While mining, I ended up finding this dungeon with a few little goblins in it. What is that? Emerald. Yo, I'll, I'll take more. Spawn more of those for me. Yo, they're gonna give me an emerald. I kind of want more of that guy. They're in this thing. Spider spawner. Yo, check these guys out. If there's a spawner for them, that might be insane. Because I can make a spawner for them. Ow, I'm gonna die. They have weapons, okay. Um, That was scary, I must say. Dude, that'd be an insane spawner. If only I had a soul stone, my chest plate broke. I'm gonna die. I'm running away. I, I don't even want the emerald. I'm scared. Yeah, mining in this mod pack with no armor? 
not fun. I played everything from there on out super safe. I strip mined a ton and very carefully killed any mobs that got in the way. I got all the lapis, redstone, and diamonds I could find, and then I recalled home. I immediately made a new chest plate and helmet, enchanted them with some basic stuff, and then I made something amazing. Boom, boom. I'm pretty sure there's no extra space in this at all. So I'm not really sure why you would ever do this. Do they have to be stained glass, dude? It has to be stained? That's so cringe. Boom, 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 boom. Diamond backpack. Uh, there's literally nothing about this that makes it any better than any other backpack. Okay. And now I can put this on, right? Does nothing. It just looks like a diamond backpack. It just looks drippy, you know? Nice drip. But you know what's extra drippy? You know what looks extra good, dude? Pikachu! The Pikachu backpack. No special effects, cost 10 diamonds and a lightning strike to get, but it's Pikachu, so who cares? Now it was time to progress a bit further in blood magic. First things first, I put a block of redstone in the blood altar and created the Apprentice Blood Orb. This was a tier 2 blood orb and I could now hold more blood at a time. So far, I hadn't actually used much of the blood from the blood orb, but once I got the air sigil, that was definitely going to change. Speaking of the air sigil, let's go ahead and make it Oh, it needs two feathers. Here we go again. I slime slinged around the world for like 20 entire minutes before finally finding this little owl that drops feathers. I headed home and now it was time. I should be able to pop in two feathers, one gas here, and this gem with 133 will. And we've done it. We have the air reagent. Nice, nice, nice. Um, I need to put this down right there. I need to put my other soul stone in it, which is in here. The villager one, pop you in there. I'll sacrifice some dudes. Now, what we've all been waiting for, this, that, that. I feel like the this part is a very unnecessary extra step, but whatever, dude, whatever, it happens, you know? And here we go, the air sigil. <laughs> All right, now the question is, how much of my blood does this use? I have 16,145. It uses 50 per, so I could pretty much just fly. Like, let's be honest. I could just fly for a little bit, you know? I shouldn't be using it permanently, but I could fly wherever I want. We have our second ever sigil. Let's go, dude. Flight unlocked. I now had three different sigils and conveniently there's another one called the sigil of holding which holds all your sigils in one place and lets you cycle through them. I made the reagent for it, but I apparently needed a tier three blood altar to get the slate required for it. While deciding on how to approach that, I learned that any villagers that I let live really make themselves at home. So much so they start building walls and placing blocks, but it's fine. I'm, I'm sure that won't become a problem in the future. I made a book that showed me how to build higher tiers of altars and I played around with it for a bit testing the size and dimensions of different altar levels and I realized that I would need a lot of stone to upgrade the altar. My twitch chat convinced me to pivot to working on Tinker's Construct to make tools that would help me gather stone a lot faster and easier. I gathered the sand and then the clay and then the gravel. I upgraded my furnaces to cook the grout to make these seared bricks. I made the entire smeltery, made a lava sigil that produces infinite lava to fuel that smeltery, but then I discovered blood bronze. It's a special material that I can use for weapons that supposedly lets me harvest demonic will and fill gems. So I get sidetracked from being sidetracked and decide to farm that to make a sword, and then this happens. Yo, chill, 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 chill. Yo, screw off. What the? Okay, so I nearly died, but do not let that distract you from the fact that I'm still getting very distracted. It gets so, so, so much worse, by the way. I smelted down all the demonic will and gold and stuff to try to make blood bronze, and I was just not making enough. It needed way too much demonic will and blood. But you know what drops both of those things? Zombies. They drop demonic will when killed with a sentient sword, and rotten flesh can be smelted into blood. Cool, so how do I get a lot of zombies? Another soul shard. So then I get side track from getting sidetracked from getting sidetracked and make a new soul shard and go around to all the zombie structures that I knew of and maxed it out. 
a full on tier five zombie soul shard. This shard would spawn tons of zombies every like half second or something. Now, if that's not contained, that'd be dangerous. So now I had to make a mob grinder. I spent like 20 minutes building one and nope, built it wrong. Okay, fine. I'll just dig down a layer towards the middle and it'll be all good. Except I built the whole thing one block too wide on one of the dimensions. So I had to tear half the whole thing down and build it all over again. I finally got the spawner built, but then there was an oversight and the children escaped and tried to start a zombie apocalypse. Now, I built this spawner above where I wanted the blood altar, not above the smeltery. It was a hassle moving all these demonic wills one by one, so now I decided to make a transfer system. Yeah. I made these transfer nodes and transfer pipes and all that, and it didn't even work. Like it did, but it was about as fast as an upside down turtle. Now we get to the worst part of all of this. I didn't even get a lot of blood bronze. I got one ingot's worth and decided to just put it on the guard of a sword. Then right after making that sword, I learned that the spawner being above my blood altar does not let me sacrifice the zombies. So the whole positioning right above the altar, a waste of time. But oh, it gets worse. I go to the nether to get quartz, which can add sharpness to my sword. But while there, I test the sword and the mobs do not drop demonic will. I don't know if I was doing something wrong or if I just misunderstood what Blood Bronze did or if it was bugged, I don't know. What I do know is that I just enchanted a sentient sword with sharpness four. That would be my method to farm demonic will easier. I desperately tried to make the Tinker Sword work testing it on zombies, but nah, it did nothing. I repurposed the sword into a fire aspect one that would help me farm food, so at least I had some use. Oh, and you know how the whole point of doing all of that was to make a tool that would help me mine a lot of stone? Yeah, I never even did that. I either forgot or I was too lazy. I don't actually remember. I made a sentient pickaxe thinking that it would be fast. It was not. So using my diamond pick, I just mined a bunch of stone one block at a time. After mining enough, I moved my blood altar and began painstakingly making these runes that I needed to upgrade to tier three. I was able to repurpose the transfer system into one that allowed me to transform an entire stack of stone at a time, so at least that was useful. Then on day 60, I was able to turn the current nine runes that I had for a tier two altar into speed runes. These made turning stone into slates much faster, and given how much time I just wasted, I needed that. Once the slates were done, I needed a little bit more stone. I went off and mined some, and then on day 62, I finally had all the rune blocks I needed. I upgraded my altar to tier three. And then I realized it was too high up to sacrifice villagers, especially when the villagers are populated enough that they think my house is their village. So they run to it immediately and start building walls and stuff. It made it really annoying to kill them because they would just run away and nothing I placed down could stop them. This whole scenario made me realize that my altar should go from the ground down rather than the ground up meaning I had to tear the whole thing down and dig a giant pit to put the altar in. Clearing so much terrain would be really annoying with normal tools, so I decided to make those 3x3 Tinker's Construct tools. I know, I could have just done this before when grinding the stone and had those tools by now, but I, I don't actually have an excuse for that. Yeah. Either way, I made the cast and then I made a cobalt hammer and excavator. I then cleared a huge pit where I wanted the altar, covered it in red glass, and on day 67, my new altar placement was complete. While working on moving the altar, I discovered a cool item that I could make called sentient armor. It needed 240 will to make, so I placed the zombie apocalypse spawner and got to work. I got the will that I needed, and then... You can keep the... Duh! Uh... Uh... I'm gonna die. Okay, uh, what do I do? What do I what do I do? 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 I can't reach my air sigil. I don't know where it is in my inventory. Hearts are I think in my backpack. When you join a world, you are invincible for three seconds. Is that true? That is true. I'll try it. Okay. Uh please, please, okay. Oh my god. Okay. How we doing? So what have we learned? Uh don't fall into the pit of 3000 zombies. That would be a good start probably. Anyways, we have the, the the what we were doing that for was just to get will in this thing and we have that now. So now I can make this really cool thing. 
the sentient armor gem, which swaps my armor for sentient armor. Look at my armor bar. It's full diamond equivalent already. Dude. That's sick. And then we can go back to this stuff. Yeah, that armor was sick. I was like Iron Man. The armor would take the enchantments of whatever armor I was currently wearing. And fortunately, I had some pretty good boots. So I'd be using those in combat instead of my slime boots. With my new armor made, I finally made use of that tier three altar and made the sigil of holding. I could now put all of my sigils in here and cycle through them, which alleviated some of my horrific inventory space issues, though not all, not even close. In combat, I had zero ranged options right now. This mod doesn't actually have magic spells, but it does have a sentient bow, which I made. I had a lot of this sentient stuff right now, which gets stronger and better based on how much will I have in my inventory. So I made a common Tartar gem, which is the highest tier that I can make right now, and I grinded to fill it up. This zombie farm was insane for more than just will. It got me tons of experience. I farmed it for a while, and by enchanting tons of books and stuff, I was able to get a power five infinity on breaking three sentient bow. Now, as awkward as it is, I was kind of approaching a point where I upgrade from sentient armor to living armor, but I only just just made sentient armor, so I wanted to at least try it out on a mini boss that I found a while back. What is that? Yo, come here. Oh, you're the vessel. Yo, die. What the Christ? Huh? Oh, nah, dude. What is that? Why are these zombies so fast? I don't know what's happening to me. I don't know what's happening to me. I can't control myself. I can't control where I'm going. All right, this is not cool, dude. What's happening? Okay, where's the boss at? Screw off. I got it. I got the boss. But it's all his ghosts, dude. There's a witch, and I can't control myself because I'm possessed by a ghost. What is this? Are you still alive? No, okay, no, now, now the vessel's dead. Who did I kill before then? Grab the vessel's a pet? It's a pet? Oh, hold on, we got a friend. There's a name tag for that friend. Ayo, hey, uh, let's check out this little friend. Wait, what is this tome? Ayo, hey, I'm in a bubble. Oh, it's like a shield, bro? What is this? Wait, wait I, I like a shield spell. So I have like a shield spell. I mean, that's probably good. All right, let's, let's spawn our little guy. We have a little friend apparently. Oh, best friends forever and make them ring. Yo, can you, can you like sit or like, what should we name our little guy? Little, 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 little ghost doll, little, little puppet. Bernie, I like Bernie. Hello, Bernie. Yo, my guy, can you just have armor? Oh, oh, yo, 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 you can have this. And the, and the chain helmet. Oh, look at my guy, look at Bernie. Bernie with the drip. Yeah, Bernie with the drip. Yo, Bernie. Get that guy. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's so he's sicko mode with it. Oh. Yeah, that's Bernie. That's my guy. That fight was chaotic, but we got Bernie out of it. Love that guy. Next up, I wanted to get a better blood orb so I could store more blood in my inventory. I used that blood to fly, and the last thing that I wanted was to run out of it when I needed it most. To actually make the blood orb, my altar had to store 25,000 blood at once, and by default, it can only store 10,000. To upgrade the amount it stores, I needed runes of capacity, which required tons of iron, so I went mining, and it was terrifying. What the heck is that? What the heck? Nah, what was that? Christ. Uh, what is that? What is that? I lost my knife, dude. I, I lost the sacrificial knife. I, I threw it on the ground. I'm not going back in there. What was that? Okay, one near death experience later, I headed home, smelted the iron and made some runes of capacity. I then had to use my own blood to make a new sacrificial dagger because, you know, I grinded these a little while longer and on day 78, I finally had enough capacity. And then I needed to sacrifice some stuff for blood. But when I sacrificed villagers now, they would constantly run away and escape. It was so annoying and I figured because my zombie shard was tier five, it'd be better. Well, this is fun. Jesus Christ, not again, not again, not again. Okay, okay. <sighs> Why does it pick it up? Oh, why are they spawning out? Oh, no! Ah, oh, jeez. I started the apocalypse again. Oh, come on. Yeah, the whole picking up the block thing was very annoying. It only happens at the worst possible times, too. I decided zombies were not the play and just used my summoning pendulum to move villagers instead. I now was able to use a gold block and create the magician's blood orb. I still needed to fill it and orb boy in my chat gave me the secret tech of water. These villagers did not stand a chance of escaping now. After filling my orb enough, my focus shifted to working on living armor and the bound blade. That would be my final set of gear and armor 
armor set that gains different abilities depending on how I use it in a sword that quite frankly just does a lot of damage. To get it, I needed to make these insanely cheap binding reagents. I made five and then I made my gear. Uh, binding regent. Boom. Oh, that's sick. I did not thought that was going to happen. Diamond sword. And there we go. Oh, Jesus Christ. Run away. Don't go near that. You will become a witch. That scared me. And there we go. The bound blade. Oh, this thing is sick. It does nine damage, which is better than the sentient sword base. Because this is, this is 11.5 with sharpness and as much will as I can even have. The bound blade is so much better. And it gives me little like crystals that I can use for other recipes. Regent, 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 chest plates, leggings, boots, and helmets. Let's go, dude. Chest plate, leggings, boots, and helmets. And with that, we have a full set of living armor. And this stuff looks incredible, dude. Look at me. I look awesome. Not only did it look awesome, this stuff was awesome. Like I said, it gains powers as I use it. Things like faster movement, more health, more attack damage, and a whole lot more. I decided to use my zombie spawner to multitask like crazy. I needed XP to enchant my armor, blood to fill my blood orb, and I needed to train my armor to gain combat abilities. However, a tier one altar does not seem capable of filling a tier three blood orb, unfortunately, so that part didn't work. It also wasn't really great for the living armor training because I gained so much experience that the armor was putting most to the upgrade points into gaining the experience. This set was great for XP farming, but it was not ideal for combat. Fortunately, those abilities were actually only bound to the chest plate and the armor was really cheap to make. I made another living chest plate that I would train for combat later and I used my experienced one to form enchantments for the rest of my gear. Once I was satisfied with the enchantments on my gear, I wanted to get mending. The durability on this stuff was trash and I wasn't quite sure how to repair it otherwise. My strat to get mending was to use my villager spawner and just check every librarian that spawned. I did this until halfway through day 85 and yeah, that did not work. My next strat was to go to the stronghold, get mending from the library, duplicate the mending book using a printing press from the Bibliocraft mod, and that also didn't work. However, the stronghold spawned quite a lot of these floating book enemies. Each one drops a random enchanted book, so I unbound the Wither Skeleton Soul Shard and I busted out the Soul Stealer Sword once again. Of course, the books got like three times rarer the second that I wanted to find them, but by day 89, I had a tier one Soul Shard. And I got to farming it, and while farming it on day 90, I learned of an armor skill that increases my max health. To train it, I just have to eat food. And I just so happened to have these red hearts that I could eat while full, and I ate tons of them until I had way more health. I farmed books until day 91, and I sorta of came to the realization that I think these books only drop enchantments that you can get from an enchantment table, which does not include mending. So yeah, I grinded a ton in so many different ways and I'm just not gonna be able to get mending at all. However, the book farming did train my armor to be insane. I had abilities boosting my attack, my health, my movement. It was nuts. Fortunately, repairing the armor manually wasn't actually that hard. It just used binding reagents and the hardest part of those was like glowstone dust or something. I shifted focus to getting on breaking three on my armor and calling it good. I went through that whole process, got it on my armor, and then came time to combine my chest plates to get unbreaking on the combat one. I just did that, didn't I? <sighs> I just combined them in the wrong order and got rid of all my extra health. I don't need it. I'm a, I don't need it. I don't need extra health, okay? That's for losers, okay? So I guess all that extra health is gone. At least I still had the damage boosting stuff, so it wasn't the end of the world. Now that I had my full set of gear, my only real objective was the final boss. I was planning on fighting the bosses from the Defiled Lands, the Destroyer and the Mourner. Before I fought them, I wanted to thoroughly test my gear to make sure it was up to the task. Yo, there's a mutant skeleton. What's good, bro? Initiate combat, battle, activate. You're kind of killing the vibe, spider. Yo, you're so much weaker than I remember, bro. You're, you're not, you're nothing. What are you gonna do? Hey, yo. That wasn't even my main sword. Bro, you suck. I've never fought one of these. How does this work? What in God's name is happening? I... Yo, you can't do that to me. Yo, you're done, bro. You're throwing a block at me? You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Ah, uh, help me! What the heck, man? I'm stuck. What is that? No, well, that's the thing. What is that? Oh, what is that? Nah, not the stupid laser of fire. That makes no sense, dude. A trade. Oh, no, you're. What, why is there just a fat guy? 
Let's fight this Cyclops boss, shall we? I haven't fought this guy in a while. I'm pretty scared. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, that's that's very strong. Wait, a thousand health? Mining fatigue? I'm out. It's fine. I, I can fight with mining fatigue. It's fine. Run, run. I'm in the corner. Okay, dude. Dude, this guy's insane. He's destroying his own home. Dude, I gotta use this sigil to like dodge. The air sigil to like dodge stuff. Dude, this is a great mod too. Cyclops is a great thing. No, 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 no. Hey, you can't catch me, buddy. I'm a little too fast for you. Oop. Yeah. AI loop, dude. I love AI loops. It's like, a, it's like a Dark Souls game. Bro, you're free. The laser's not free. Stop doing that. And good. Bye. Uh, and I honestly kind of wanted to just fight the boss, but like, I think we should go inside. Not the healer, dude. Yeah, take these guys out. Nah, get back. Stay back. What poisoned me? You're a scumbag. You're a scumbag. Yep, that would be him. Necromancer. Yo, he just revealed. That's so sick. He revealed mid fight, but you can't. You can't really beat me, buddy. I'm a little bit better than you. What is that? What are you doing? What is the bone thing? Is it like a shield? You healed up. It's kind of cringe. I can't do that. Holy Jesus! If that's bending, I'm livid. Why do you have diamond armor? That better not be bending. He dropped two enchanted books. Respiration and barbed hook and a cursed bone that can summon a skeleton. I would consider myself more than capable of fighting anything. My gear was great. I was at my base on night 93 and starting on day 94, I was going to work towards those bosses. But then I get this ominous message. Something is trying to enter this world. That gives off final boss vibes. So I started scrambling to get my gear in order. I had a god apple, gold apples, and the best gear that I could. I was ready for whatever crazy thing was trying to invade. And oh yeah. It was crazy. Something. What is that? Biscuit, I don't think you want to go near that. Maelstrom monolith. Well, it seems that my world has been invaded by that. I guess we're going to see what this is. Is there like an entrance to the tower? You meant to like build up to it. I can fly because I'm built different. Okay, here we go. I don't know what this is, but this might be our final boss, to be honest. Wait, he's lighting up. Oh, screw this, dude. He's a summon fight. I hate. Wait, that death animation is pog. You can stop now. What is that? Jesus. Okay, I assume I'm meant to kill this before I get overwhelmed. Uh, it might be too late for that. Dude, he's summoning meteor. That's so not cool. Does he know he's lighting himself on fire? Is he dumb? This this fierce strike attack is insane. Or like the buff from my armor is insane. Dude, you're not an anvil. He's cosplaying an anvil right now. Why are you here? You're not even part of the same mod. 19, he's, he's dead. He's done for. He's done for. And GG's. The Maelstrom Monolith was defeated. A beam of pure white light shot into the sky, signaling the end of the invasion. Over the course of this journey, I had gained the powers of lightning, flight, incredible living armor, and in the end, I had grown strong enough to defend the overworld from invasion. And now this Blood Mage's journey has come to an end.